give you a little update it's been four hours and as you can see from the mark rising you can see the bubbles this is what you want shows you've got a really good active yeast going on here show you all the way around here yeah it's looking really really good and that's after only four hours so we'll keep you updated here another couple hours it should be really crazy we are an hour and a half later so it's been uh, five and a half hours since we started this and you can see there's our start line right there there was another line that I had marked from something else before and you can see how much more it's risen so it's it's coming close to getting double its size which is what you're really wanting you want to see that thing at least double up every time you feed it and you can see all the big bubbles in there how it's growing 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 all this from that little piece of dehydrated starter that we started a couple days ago just got to be patient leave it in a warm spot be patient this is what you're looking for if it doesn't get this you don't feed it you just be patient and wait so <clears throat> been another hour so we're six and a half hours into the process there's our starting line there's the other marker and we were, we were about right there just above that mark an hour ago and now look at it also you want to look at all the bubbles that's a really nice active starter there and this is only the first feeding after it's been rehydrated so you know what to expect Just wait till you taste the bread you make with this. Oh, it's awesome. Like I said, I'll make some uh, other videos with that so you know what we're doing, but this will get you going. We're at eight and a half hours since we fed this. It looks like it's coming to the top of its rise, which is right there, which is way more than double of what we started with so that's a very very active starter so anyways as you can see it's got bubbles galore and just a little note if you get a recipe that wants 100 percent hydration that's what this is it's when it gets to the top of its rise and just before or just after it starts to drop it'll start shrinking here soon and but when it gets to the peak of this it's that's when what they call the 100 percent hydration for your starter so just a little note there so anyways um i don't know i'll probably show you one more time on here what it looks like once it's uh, fallen down again. I usually don't feed until it gets uh, 24 hours old and uh, it does fine that way. So anyways, thought I'd show you that but like I said, I'll probably do one more video when, uh, when it drops back. It should drop back down to, oh, probably about right in here somewhere. And then when you stir it, <clears throat> it'll drop 
right back to where we started then. So, anyways, very interesting. Like I say, you can see how full that jar is. All right, good morning here. It is morning. It's been, um, what, about uh, 20 hours on since we fed this starter. It has went from here up and by last night it was clear up oh, about in there somewhere and now it's shrunk back down like it should so now um, the next thing look at it it's it's still a good active starter you can tell by the bubbles in it and Anyways, um, what we're going to do then next would be to uh, take off the excess and we'll refeed it. And then I can show you what to do with the excess, which is basically cook. Make some bread. Make some English muffins. Make some bagels. Yeah, we're going to explore them all. All right, next up will be the... Uh, feeding and taking off the excess. Thank you.